that you may have heard this in the media, mark to market or mark to model. This is again obscuring jargon. Basically, mark to market means that if you've got something like your jumper, now you may think that jumper's worth 10 quid, right? And you tell me it's worth 10 quid. And I'm going to say to you, right, let's find out how much it's worth. Let's go outside and say to people, how much do we give me for this jumper? Now, if they say 10 quid, it's worth 10 quid. And if they all go, that's a stinky, I've never seen such a terrible jumper. Gee, Christ, no, I wouldn't give you 50p. Then it's worth less than 50p. That's what it's worth. That's mark to market, okay? Those rules were suspended at the beginning of this crisis because the banks said we must have them suspended. And they still are. And now we have a thing called mark to model. And that is, we just make it up. Right? They have a model. Okay, they have a little computer, which someone with a degree in computer things, programs pretty complicated, and this will tell you what it's worth if the buyers who like that kind of thing were around. Okay. So in other words, they're going to tell me how much that jumper is worth if there were lots of people around who love that kind of jumper. And you know what? Amazing. Works out, it's worth a lot of money. <laughs> Fantastic. Just, just brilliant. So all of their assets are worth a fortune. That's mark to model. And that's what we're still using. Do you remember that bit of paper that I said on a house worth £100,000? So they should have abandoned any free market economics view. Yes, precisely. And this is a very important point. Because what the whole argument is portrayed as, we have over here the people who are in, um, in favour of the free market. And over here we have a bunch of lefty, luddite, anarchists, lunatics who don't understand anything. But you know what? The people who most abandon any semblance of a free market are the free market people. Why? Because in the free market, they'd be broke. 